this case consider the issue of duress to goods and whether or not a contract that was entered into for the payment of outstanding rent was void on the basis that it was only entered into because the landlord had threatened to sell some of the tenant's goods. In this case, a tenant had fallen behind in the payment of rent, so the landlord seized some goods of the tenant and threatened to sell them if the tenant did not enter into a further contract to pay the outstanding rent. The tenant entered into the agreement but later was unable to pay the rent. The landlord brought an action to recover the rent 